Well, Hayden, congratulations on the contract extension. You must be pretty thrilled to lock in your future with the Swans. Yeah, no, nah, it's very exciting. Um, I know the last five years have been very good and looking forward to the next few and um, very exciting to put the pen to paper in a good time. Before we talk about the team, let's talk about your own form. What, what do you put down your change in form or your improvement to, do you think? Yeah, I think just been more confident in myself this year. Did a lot of work with Don Pike and Maka um, throughout the year and just having a different mindset. I think now me, Logan and Joel now are there, that's sort of our time to take the ranks. Um, I guess getting a few opportunities here and there, but I think this year just having a real good run at it. Um, working together and as you see, the team's looking good. Whatever you learnt off Bud, I was going to ask you about the other four, but after what happened yesterday is big yeah. farewell. What did you learn in your time with Bud? No, I think just having the balance with him. Um, he's very professional, but he loves to have a good time as well. And I think learning a bit of that from him, but then also on the field, just his smarts. He's done it for so long, he's been so good at it, but a lot of tips he's just given me along the way, you know, holding your leading patterns or just being smart, really. Working smart, not hard. And what about the next generation yourself, Logan, uh, Joel? What's uh, some of the highlights and, and I guess, why do you like working in the forward line with those boys so much? Yeah, no, I've, we've had a few games together, but especially this year, we've probably had a few good games together. Um, and now we just work well together. We're good mates off field, and I think it's just a bit of fun out there. It feels like you know, a bit of juniors I played with Joel, so it just sort of feels like that back then, just having that connection, and it's an exciting time for us, so I think. Going back to how you started your AFL career, slightly yeah. different to, to normal, Sandringham, and then over to South Adelaide and picked up in the pre-season. Do you feel as though um, it's sort of reward for all your hard work? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think I'm probably a bit better off for taking, I think, the harder way um, and the different way. Um, sort of moving around and trying to fight for a spot. Sort of maybe appreciate sort of having the spot at the moment and what it takes each week just to compete, really. And I think that's sort of front of mind every week, just compete and do what I can do. Um, and I think I've learned that from getting a few knockbacks along the way. And staying at the Swans for at least four more, more years, you feel success is just around the corner? Yeah, no, definitely. I think having a bit of a taste last year, although we were young, but to get to that spot last year um, and have a crack was a great experience for us and a massive learning curve. And I think, you know, being there again hopefully this year and just keep going. And I think the young group that we've got and you've seen the talent throughout the year that's just developed really well together. Um, I can see a lot of success going forward. Speaking of which, up against the Blues next Friday night, that's a big one. Yeah, yeah, massive. Could sort of come out now. Friday night at the G doesn't probably get much bigger than that. And it'll be a true test, but that's what finals is about. And we're very excited for it.